Hey everyone, welcome back to the channel. We've got two really exciting pieces here, both 112 scale by the Patriot Studios. And this is the Joaquin Phoenix Joker in both the bathroom scene version and the classic red suit version. And you can get these figures from www.crabfigure.com or eBay. The uh, seller's name is soul.reva.customs. So there's two places you can grab these two pieces. There's also just a regular Arthur Fleck version in his regular clothes, but I can't wait to bust these out and show them to you. I have been very excited about getting my hands on these. Drop a like on the video, make sure you subscribe to the channel, and follow me on Instagram at dnight for you free. Alright, so, the one thing that blew me away when I first discovered these was just the crazy, amazing attention to detail that's gone into the packaging. Now, I'll just show you the, uh, the artwork on the front here. The head sculpt is incredible. You get two different expressions, two different head sculpts. It says Arthur Fleck, Arthur Fleck, Arthur Fleck. But that's the figure right there. I love that head sculpt with the eyes closed where he's really just in his own world in the bathroom scene, just slowly becoming the Joker. There is the moment from the film. That's the figure again. Absolutely awesome artwork here. There's another picture of the figure really cool effect, uh, effects and this is the ultimate collection oh and uh, then here we have some pretty cool artwork as well but not only do you get the alpha fleck figure with two head sculpts and all the accessories you also get the bathroom to do the, uh, the posing in as well believe it or not in this this little box you get everything absolutely insane let's bust him open let's take a look and just lift off the uh, really good quality cardboard here that's really tough. It's really good. It'd be nice to display the packaging with the figure. So you've got two boxes inside here. I just can't believe how much they managed to squeeze into a little box like that. So this would be the actual figure itself. There's another picture of him there. He comes with his bag and his cigarette and everything. Absolutely gorgeous photography here of the figure. Really, really love that picture. And it just continues. Look, you can see there's the curtains from the Murray Franklin show. There's another pose. And you've got uh, some info here. You can pause that and have a read if you wish. But the amazing head sculpts and the incredible tailoring on the clothes. Now, this would be all of the accessories to make the uh, the bathroom. So uh, some people think I'm a clown, but in fact they look more funny. Thank you for enjoying it. <laughs> so yeah awesome pose there let's just take a look see right so here is the the sink the taps or the faucets if you're in America uh, newspaper there is the closed eyes head sculpt and you can see how incredible that looks for 112 scale look at that even hidden in the box like that you can see how amazing that is look at the blood effects and uh, really good hand sculpts from the look of it then underneath this layer we have I think if I remember from videos I've seen on YouTube these are the mirrors that you can insert into the wall from the bathroom and then let's just tip this out we have the walls the floor it's just amazing it's really high quality again got to figure out how to build all this so that's where the mirror will go I think this unfolds I want to be careful might need both hands for this folks I'll come back to you in a sec all right so I've got all my parts to build the bathroom scene this is amazing and uh, here's me sinks now I think it's all magnet based um, as I noticed all these different sections were kind of magnetized together there's probably a magnet in the back of these that goes somewhere around here I'll figure that out in a minute I'm just trying to find the instructions if there are any they might be in the box where the actual figure is so let's just have a look here so this is where the figure rests it says thank you see again just no detail spared I really do have to say I'm blown away by the effort put in here oh man okay wow Look at that head sculpt, look at the clothing, look how good the tie looks, the shirt, the vest. 
can see the socks, the shoes, his bag, the hands, a cigarette and a gun. Is there anything underneath here? I'm just Otherwise I can always just go on YouTube and see how someone else put this together because I did check and there's loads of videos from people putting this together so I can always just copy them. I'll probably figure it out myself. Anyway, I'll come back to you once this is assembled but so far absolutely blown away by what Patriot Studio have done here. Right, so there are definitely magnets at play here. Uh, definitely in the bottom here. This ground will sort of magnetize to this bottom of the wall here easily. And these two walls, they magnetize together. Uh, but I was having trouble with the top section of the wall kind of falling in. So I've just, I don't know if this is what you're supposed to do, but I've just put some, a little bit of black tape there just to keep the walls in place. I've still got to put the mirror on the back. But at least it's going to stop falling apart as I'm putting it together. But relatively simple. Um, couldn't find any instructions. So I'm just doing it my way. All right, and at the back here where the mirror goes, I suppose we just peel off these sticky tabs and then we can attach the mirror to the back of the wall here. And yep, that should be simple enough. All right, it's starting to come together and look good. Now I'm just gonna put the sinks together. Well, I think you just peel off the sticky label here and attach that. And then how does this all go? I'll figure that out out of these. Not sure how these attach, but I'll figure that out. All right, we're all done. I think I made a mistake by putting the... Because you get two sort of sheets of mirror. So I thought, okay, well, I guess both sheets go down, both behind there, but then you get the split down the middle. But the, the sticky tape on the back of the wall is so sticky. Once you put the mirror on, you can't really take it off again without damaging it. So I'm just going to have to go with the split down the middle of the mirror, which may not be 100% accurate or exactly how you're supposed to do it. But I'm not too sure why they gave you two mirrors. I guess they gave you one as a spare in case you do something silly like I did um, but yeah I mean it's it's all put together now looks fine and here's the figure hello look at that that is quality absolutely awesome looking piece folks it was very kind of late discovering Patriot Studio and the fact that they were making these incredible Joker figures and I only discovered it recently we just stand him there, and there is Alpha Fleck in the bathroom. The level of quality and presentation here is just, it's really up there, high, high up. Very impressed. And here's his little bag, we can just chuck that in the corner. Set the scene a little bit there. Is there some magnet in here or something? seems to want to go somewhere it's very specific it seems to be moving by itself <laughs> that's really freaky is there a magnet in here I don't think there is how could there be a magnet in there? it's empty but something is making it move around unless ah, uh, maybe it's the metal zip reacting to the magnet all right so I guess that's what that is because there is a magnet in there all right well anyway that's the bag and uh, we got the gun it's very small Accurate looking though, even down to the gold work on the handle there. So that's cool. And then we got this cigarette, is it? Or is that, what is it? Let's see. It's a tiny little cigarette. 112 scale cigarette, watch out for them. It's bad enough keeping track of the 1 6 scale ones, but then we got his hands. Some other hands here. I'll tidy up once I get all this stuff out and assemble everything. I was debating whether or not to do two separate videos, one for the bathroom scene and maybe one separate video for the red suit joke. I think I'll do them as two separate videos. There's enough going on here already. So you can look forward to the classic red suit version unboxing and review coming up really soon. I love this head sculpt, man. It is phenomenal. Look at that expression. This head sculpt's amazing too. Look at that. Check out the quality of the clothing. Great shoes, in the newspaper. It says the Gotham Times, so that's excellent. You could always weather up the floor a bit if you wanted to. But that is just excellent. 
All right, everything tidied up a bit now. We've got all the accessories laid out in front of him, some of them in the diorama with him, but the diorama complete, the figure standing inside, the beautiful packaging surrounding the piece. It's just nice to display the box and all the different sections of it with the piece. But incredible. So they go for about $130 each, which I think is really reasonable for everything you're getting and the accuracy. I mean, the look of the piece, it really looks like Joaquin Phoenix as the Joker. The blood effect there is really good. That second hit sculpt is fantastic. The bag's really nicely done. The gun looks great and accurate. All the different hands, the cigarette, the newspaper, the sink, the, the mirror, the taps, the walls, the floor, the whole thing. That is incredible stuff. Now you can do the classic Joker looking in the mirror at the end of the scene. There's all kinds of things you could do. You could have him looking in the mirror with both hands resting on the sink, kind of leaning in. Like he's uh, getting his breath back after running away from the scene of the crime at the subway. Alright, I just switched out the head just so you can see how that looks. Might have been a little bit of a dancing pose, didn't take too long on this one though. I'll have to do a separate video with all the photography and pose sessions. I haven't got the time to do all the poses right now, folks. My schedule is just mental at the moment. But I'll give you a little taste of what he's capable of. All right, another little cool pose here. Looking at the gun and thinking, thinking about what he did and how much he enjoyed it or didn't enjoy it. But it's such an expressive head sculpt. Looks fantastic. I'm trying to not get myself in the reflection of the mirror all the time. Hello. Can't be helped, I'm afraid, folks. But amazing. A lot of fun to be had here. If you're into the photography and figures, this is giving you everything you need. Alright, so we'll just take a moment to fully appreciate this piece on the rotating basis it turns. Got him holding the gun and his bag. Took the diorama out of the equation just to not distract you for a moment with that. And we'll just soak up the proportions and the tailoring on the piece. And you can see the back of the head there, the hair sculpted really well, the side profile's perfect. From a skew, looks exactly like him. And from dead on the front, very, very strong likeness. Great sculpt on the hair, really good paintwork on the head sculpt as well can't really stress how impressed I am with the clothing it's so well done nothing is jumping out of me as messy or not fitting properly or not connecting properly everything has been done really really well here an excellent representation of Joaquin Phoenix as Arthur Fleck slash the Joker from the Joker movie and now we'll just get a bit closer so we can take a look at the likeness again paying attention to well, actually, the detail of the vest being brown at the back, that's something that a lot of the 1-6 scale companies didn't bother to do. So that is nice. And a very cool fact that they've managed to actually make the back of the vest the accurate color and design. Even down to the, the kind of tightener at the back here, the little belt. So very impressed with that as well. Beautiful pattern on the shirt. Nice detail on that. The tie, I say again, the tie, folks has been done so well buttons on the front of the vest love the blood work on the head sculpt the bloody nose really really well done let me come around one more time so you can appreciate the likeness on the sculpt the phenomenal paintwork excellent All right, now I've just switched out to the alternative head sculpt so we can get a close look at that. I love this one too. It's going to be difficult choosing which head sculpt to use. I really do like this one. You don't get many figures with closed eyes, but it really works. It really works with this particular character from this scene or scenes. So, very, 
very impressed. They come around one more time. It looks incredible. Very, very good sculpt. I'm just going to get really close up. I want you to know that there is nothing to hide here. I'm going to get really close up with him. You can check out the, the stitching, quality, neat work on the tie and the collar of the shirt. Great work on the vest, accurate color on the back, design, and bag, really nicely done. Little patch on the back of his pants there, more patch action. On the, on the knees, the one there, and the socks are visible, and I love that. I do like it when you can see the socks. Shoes are done nicely. Go ahead and check that out. Close up look at the gun. Alright, so, yep, close up on the gun, looks really nice. The hands aren't too bad. I mean, for 112 scale, they're painted nicely. It's not just a flat tone. There's some skin tone and blemishes and little freckles and imperfections and all that good stuff. Very uh, easy to change the heads over. You just got to pull it out. Pop the other one back in. That one goes on there real nice. Let's get the uh, the light catching his eye. Really well done. From any angle, it's a very strong likeness. Love the side profile. Let's just turn the brightness down a pinch. There we go. Good range of movement, too. Is it Velcro or how is this put together? I think it's actually stitched together. I think it's stitched at three points. One, two, and three. So that's not coming apart, so that's good. Excellent. Now here's just a little peek at the Patriot Studio 112 scale Joker from the bathroom scene next to my custom 1-6 scale bathroom scene Joker. So it's really cool to have these guys both together probably see these two in a video on the channel in the near future seems like an interesting thing to do but I had to piece this together from different parts folks you can't buy this figure at the moment I had to repaint the head and add the hair to the forehead and do all the makeup and the blood and the sweat and the grime so I'm really proud of that one but the little 112 scale figure looks incredible beside it. So I think I'm actually going to display him like that because I want him to be on the DC shelf even though a lot of the stuff here is 1-6 scale. It is nice to have these two side by side so I'll probably put the little red jacket version next to my 1-6 scale. That's another cool piece. Check that out. Custom head sculpt. Amazing work on that. The Samsung phone always makes that shirt look blue. It's actually green, really green in person, but the shirt comes across blue on camera. It's weird. Anyway, just thought I'd give you a little peek at that. Let's carry on with the review. All right, so I just want to show you two other 112 scale figures by different companies on either side. Here we have the Mezco Pennywise in 112 scale and the Mezco Freddy Krueger from the original Nightmare on Elm Street film, also by Mezco. And Mezco do an amazing work in 112 scale. I've yet to see a figure from them in 112 that hasn't blown me away. Even stuff that I'm not interested in at the figure pit, we got a couple of Star Trek figures like Spock and uh, Captain Kirk. I was blown away by them. But I have to say, Patriot Studio have done an equally as impressive job with their Joker figure. Can't wait to get the red suit version out of the box and review that one for you separately. Really am looking forward to it. I have to say I'm blown away, genuinely blown away by what I'm seeing here by the Patriot Studio when it comes to the Joker figures. They've done amazing work, amazing head sculpt, great paint, amazing proportions, great posability. 
great tailoring on the clothing you just beautiful execution and they didn't even have to go the whole way and give you the diorama but they did and the box that it comes in it all the different compartments everything you can all see it behind there it's just gorgeous artwork so absolutely incredible uh, someone said to me recently on a live stream that the joker was their favorite film of all time and i totally understand because the performance from joaquin phoenix is untouchable it's like nothing i'd ever seen before and todd phillips direction the cinematography everything about the film the score just fantastic it's in my top 10 films of all time and always will be i absolutely love the joker movie so let me know what you think folks i'm sure quite a few of you just like me had no idea that this figure existed i really didn't it's there was a point where there was so many one six scale third party joker figures flying around all over the place and a couple of one twelve scale figures from other companies and also a quarter scale one which i'm not too sure if that even came out in the end but they were just everywhere for a little while there no official official stuff but a lot of people trying to give us what we want and patriot studio here just came out of nowhere for me and just smacked me around the face with an amazing figure so i'm absolutely blown away i will be reviewing the red uh, red suit version very soon for you so keep it locked on the channel for that video too can't wait to see the red suit version he comes with two head sculpts one of them is really angry looking a uh, big scream on his face i really can't wait and it comes with the chair that he sits in on the murray franklin show as well and loads of other little goodies in there too so drop a like on the video subscribe to the channel check out patriot studio and uh yeah stick around for the next video i hope you enjoyed this one folks i'm absolutely blown away i can't recommend it enough if i was going to give this figure let's take these guys out of the equation if i was going to give this figure a score out of 10 considering the beautiful packaging the incredible accessories including the diorama and just the high quality look of the figure itself let me just think about this before i say it is there any reason not to give this a 10 there isn't there is no reason not to give this a 10 honestly that's how i feel it's a 10 out of 10 figure well done the patriot studio thanks for watching guys see you soon take it easy bye bye